What began as a crisis in Greenville County ended up transforming barren land into a thriving orchard. In the late autumn harvest season, farmers faced an overwhelming problem, too many apples. Orchard after orchard produced a bumper crop, leaving packing sheds and barns overflowing with fruit, much of it bruised or unsuitable for sale. This leftover apple waste, thousands of tons of pulp, seeds, and spoiled fruit couldn't just be composted or dumped in landfills due to cost and environmental concerns. Enter Dr. Caleb Turner, an environmental scientist from Riverwood University. Dr. Turner and his team, experts in land restoration and large-scale composting, proposed a radical idea. Instead of disposing of the waste, why not dump it on the Old West Tract, a barren piece of land long neglected by farmers? The land had poor soil and was considered worthless, so the idea of using it for waste seemed like a last resort. With little to lose, local farmers led by experienced orchardist Claire Reynolds agreed to try it. Over the course of several months, trucks and tractors hauled 25,000 tons of apple waste to the field. At first, it seemed chaotic. The air was thick with the smell of fermenting apples, and locals jokingly called it Fruit Mountain. But Dr. Turner's team didn't just dump the waste. They carefully integrated it into the soil, added compost-friendly microbes, and monitored the process. While most farmers didn't expect much, Dr. Turner believed the organic matter would eventually revitalize the land. By the following spring, the first signs of life emerged. Claire noticed green sprouts covering the field, with some fresh grasses and plants growing where none had before. Soil samples revealed thriving microorganisms and earthworms, proof that the waste was transforming into rich, healthy soil. Over the next few years, the field continued to change. By year five, shrubs were growing, and by year 10, apple tree seedlings began to sprout, seeds from the original apple waste that had survived and germinated. As the years passed, the land blossomed. By year 15, apple tree saplings were blooming, attracting pollinators like bees. By year 20, the once desolate field had become a small, vibrant orchard. Dozens of mature apple trees stood tall, their branches laden with fruit and wildlife had returned. Claire, now older, visited the site with Dr. Turner's team, marveling at how something so unremarkable had turned into a flourishing ecosystem. The project became a model of sustainable land restoration, inspiring farmers from other areas. Although the apples weren't perfect by supermarket standards, they were sweet and edible and local families came to pick them. Environmental journals praised the project, highlighting how a simple act of waste disposal had led to a miraculous transformation. Dr. Turner reflected on the journey from the initial crisis to a success story in land reclamation. Claire, standing under a blooming apple tree, remembered the skepticism and the overwhelming waste of those early days. Picking a small apple from the tree, she smiled, tasting a modest but sweet fruit. This orchard, born from 25,000 tons of discarded apples, was proof of nature's regenerative power, a story of how even the most improbable solutions can yield the greatest wonders.